First to 10, though, incredible moments like this captured all across the country today. A plane flies through the Midwest during the total solar eclipse as a crowd erupts in cheers, almost like special effects from a movie. But as we know, this was real life, a once in a generation opportunity to see the moon blocking out the sun, bringing people together from coast to coast. Our Albert Ramon and Marie Saavedra saw the spectacle in the sky firsthand from Carbondale. Tonight, they show us the moment of totality there and have reaction from people who traveled to see the celestial event. Good evening from Carbondale, Illinois, the eclipse crossroads of America. They saw a total solar eclipse in 2017. We saw it again today. Absolutely incredible. Uh, an experience that thrilled every person, not only in the stands here at Southern Illinois University, but everyone who traveled to Southern Illinois to experience it. Totality from 1.59 p.m. to 2.03. Just four minutes and eight seconds, but a mind-blowing experience. Mm -hmm. Here's a snippet of what we got to experience. Totality, it's happening right now it's in here. Carbondale, Illinois, <laughs> the intersection of the 2017 and 2024 eclipse. And you're looking live as we see the last bit of sunlight wrapping around the moon. Totality just seconds away. And as you look closely, Marie, we're going to see the sparkles, the Bailey beads, and the crowd is going wild. Oh, and we are falling into darkness right now. What an incredible sensation. And you are hearing and seeing the crowd of 15,000 gathered here at Southern Illinois University. Oh, Albert. There it is, incredible. Bailey Beads, Bailey Beads. And we're about to see the diamond ring effect and about to have the total solar eclipse here in Carbondale, Illinois, on campus of Southern Illinois University. We are at a point right now where we have our glasses off and we are looking up. This is incredible. You're seeing that beautiful corona of the sunlight, the moon in that perfect circle right in the middle. Just something bigger than us. Yeah. And in the moment, I thought of my family and um, I'm a teacher and I was just taking it all in and thinking for the kids in the classroom today, I told them I was coming and I said, I'm going to do my best to experience the whole experience, you know, videotape, take pictures and bring it back to the kids that are in the classroom. And I felt so small, you know, at first that's what I want to say, but also unity with the world. You know, really, we're all here experiencing this together, and it's an experience that we'll never probably have again. I just thought it was awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> I just kept staring at it like, oh my gosh, I've never, that's just awesome. Like, just stunning, stunning. After totality, things here cleared out pretty quick, mm -hmm. but we know whether they're leaving tonight to head back home or tomorrow or any other day this week, we know that people are basking in the glow of this experience. How incredible for Carbondale to have it seven years apart, twice. I mean, twice is once right. in a lifetime. It's one for a lot of people, but this just makes it that more special to have been here today in Carbondale. And the next total solar eclipse in Carbondale, about 300 years away. <laughs> Good news, Chicago. We don't have to wait as long. Good. We only have to wait till the year 20. 99. All right, mark your calendars now. From Carbondale, I'm Marisa Vedra. And I'm Albert Ramon. We'll send it back to you. Oh, that was great. Well, back here in the city, thousands of Chicagoans flocked to the lakefront to catch the eclipse. A huge crowd gathered here outside the Adler Planetarium for a special eclipse festival and viewing party. Everyone we spoke with described a special feeling of community among the crowd. It was very exciting physically like I felt like relaxed. So exciting. It's great being around all these other people in our community. It's really thrilling. You know, I like you never see things like this. The lakefront crowd did not experience totality, but the skies did darken a bit and temperatures took a dramatic drop as the sun mostly disappeared. At Elgin High School, about 1400 students and staff spent their afternoon watching the eclipse from their football stadium. We're told students will bring the experience back into their classrooms this week and beyond. Over in River Grove, it was a family affair. People sat on blankets and camping chairs on the lawn of Triton College. For most kids, this was their first time experiencing an eclipse like this. It was really incredible, a unifying experience, and that's exactly what one of America's favorite science guys, Bill Nye, hopes people felt today. This really brought people together, you know, trading came to a virtual stop on Wall Street because people shared this experience. And this experience is understood through the process of science. The eclipse was at least partially visible for all 48 contiguous U.S. states. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway alone, there were tens of thousands of people from all 50 states and more than 33 countries around the world. Check this out, an astronomical wonder from one of the world's great natural wonders. Hundreds of people flocked to Niagara Falls to take in the eclipse today. Sightseers gathered on the edge of the falls.
crossing two things off their bucket list at <laughs> once. Another beautiful phenomenon thanks to the eclipse. This video comes from Mexico City where crescent shaped shadows filtered through the trees as the eclipse reached totality there. <laughs> 